Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Atlanta, and the city's kind of buzzing this weekend because the Super Bowl is coming. We're kind of staying away from that. We're hitting the suburbs, and today we're just kind of having a usual Saturday, so I thought, why not vlog it? We are at the park with some close friends, and Landon is ready to play, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah, oh, okay. You've been waiting very patiently. My daughter, not so patiently, so I've got the essentials for a park play date and uh yeah let's go get started Come on. okay just wanted to show y'all real quick that my kids are wearing some of their thrift store haul this was little maya's denim jacket and landon show them your shirt look at that look how slick that looks you ready to play yes okay you can go play You ready? Yeah. Ready? It's not exactly the straightest line, but yay! <laughs> yay! Wee! <laughs> so much fun! Actually, it's a really nice day. It's close to 60 degrees now and sunny. It's really nice out. So this is Landon's best friend, Easton. Say hi, Easton. Hi. Tell him how old you are. Six. Six. And he and Landon have been friends since, um, really before they were born. Because Easton's mommy and I have been friends since before they were born. And look at little Miss Sweetie Pie. Expressing herself. Go for it, buddy. Come on, let's find Jojo. Come on, let's find Jojo. Oh, she's so expressive. We encourage that. I see him. I see Jojo. There he is. This is Jonah. This is Easton's little brother. He's two. So he and Sissy are the same age. And they're boyfriend and girlfriend, we like to believe. It's on. <laughs> it's on. So this is Brittany, and some of you may recognize her from those <laughs> maternity pictures. I know you can't tell, but she's a little bit pregnant. Just a little bit. Just nine months, so. Just, yeah, tell them your due date. March 6th. March 6th, and it is February 2nd. So we may go before that. Why don't you tell them a little bit about what's cooking in there? Um, boy number three. Baby boy number three. So y'all already met Easton and Jonah running around um, yes and we don't have a name for baby boy yet what about, but what about darth vader stormtrooper darth vader stormtrooper <gasps> that's an idea darth vader stormtrooper i think that could be a winner actually so yeah we're just chilling this is part of the crew and i'm going to show my sister in a minute but y'all have seen her too so This is um, Sissy's cousin, Cora. She's also two. Say hi, two. Babel. Can you say hi, Babel? Cheese. Cheese. Just taking a little break from all the play to 
dish and have a snack and coffee break and just talk about life. Landon? It was so fun. Two and a half hours later. And uh, we saw a trip there. And my we friend. are done. Yeah, we saw one of his friends from school, so that was a nice. Can we call Miss Sarah when we saw a um, trip? We call Miss Sarah. Sure. So that was a nice little perk. We ran into one of his friends and we had a couple of hiccups, but all in all, a really good time. Yeah. Um, there was a lot that I didn't wind up filming. Um, we made some new friends and played with bubbles and sidewalk chalk. And I played um, bubbles again. Some of it I didn't film because, you know, I try not to film My other mama. people's kids for obvious reasons. But um, yeah, it was great fun. So it is coming close to one o'clock. And they are hungry, so we're going to get some McDonald's and head home for naps. So we are back home, and the kids are down. It was easier for me to just breeze through all of that lunch and getting them home and ready for rest time and all that. Um, Vivian is two, so she still takes a daily nap. It is very much needed, especially on days like this where we play for like two straight hours. Landon's about to be six, so he doesn't necessarily require sleep during the day, every single day, but he definitely still has a rest time whenever it's weekends and we're at home. So I'll show you them on their monitors real quick. So that is Miss Thing just sleeping away. And then this is Landon. He can have his iPad, some books, some toys, but he does have to stay in his bed for two hours and knows to stay in there until Mama comes and gets him. That's just the way we do it in our house. It's very good for even my almost six-year-old to have that structure and consistency and routine and have time to just chill out, especially when he's been engaging in hardcore play all morning. And you know what? Mama needs a few minutes to herself too. So... For this time, it's always a struggle because there are a thousand things that I should be doing, but right now I'm sitting in bed and I'm not really going to apologize for that. I'm kind of enjoying the quiet, actually. Uh, two plus hours uh, at the park is not a vacation for moms and all moms watching this know that. So right now I'm going to chill. I may catch up on a show or two. Um, I'm going to catch up on a few YouTube channels. Um, so many amazing, wonderful women and mamas have been supporting me on YouTube and it just means the world and we love to pay it back and forward to each other and support each other's channels. And that is an investment of time to sit and fully watch videos and like and comment and it's something I'm happy to do, but it is a commitment of time. So I may carve out some of this time to do in that. Um, a little bit about Michael and my husband's schedule. I don't know if I've elaborated on that or not, but he has kind of an unconventional schedule. He actually works seven days on, seven days off. So he works at a data center, which is about an hour from our house. And for seven whole days, we have him all to ourselves, essentially uninterrupted time. But then for seven whole days, he is working an hour from home, 12 hour shifts for seven straight days. So it's kind of work hard, play hard. It's the notion of having him for those straight days, which is wonderful. But then for the subsequent seven days, we really don't see too much of him for obvious reasons. He's working. So this is one of his work weeks and I'm not going to lie. Those do get hard sometimes. It's definitely hard and challenging on him. You know, he's operating on very little sleep and very long hours and we're so grateful for what he does. Um, 
so it's very draining on him and sometimes it can take a little bit of a toll on me too um, because he is a good helper in the house and also just the companionship of you know having somebody else to talk to because I tend to run my mouth so this is his work week um, so I'm just chilling here actually truly enjoying do you hear that No, but the silence is, the silence is wonderful. So I'm going to sit here, enjoy some me time. There's laundry to be done. There are dishes to be done. Um, I'm not going to do those right now. And I'm not really going to make an apology for not doing them. I'm just going to enjoy time to myself. And uh, I think I'm going to go do some karaoke tonight with some friends. Um, my sister and her friends when uh, she gets off work. So that'll be kind of fun. So I may take y'all along with me. And yeah, hope y'all are having a good day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I'll check back in with you soon. Right now, he's probably slow dancing with a beach blonde tramp. And she's probably getting frisky. Right now, he's probably buying her some fruity little drink cause she can't shoot whiskey. Right now, he's probably up behind her with a pool stick showing her how to shoot a combo. We don't know. Okay, y'all, so we have not kicked out of the restaurant for, like, behavior or anything, but they closed, like, what, an hour ago? Yep, yep. And we now. wanted to just keep talking, so we have been out here in the parking lot just chit-chatting about uh, everything. Just life. Life. <laughs> just life. So, um, <laughs> this is what happens when your fave Mexican restaurant closed. They used to stay open until, like, midnight. They did, but yeah, like, not it cool was anymore. technically closed at 11, but they would stay open for us. For us till, like, 1. Yeah. Not tonight. Yeah, but not now. They, they were serious about They straight it. up closed at, like, 11, so we've just been continuing the talking in the parking lot, but we probably are about to head home, because, you know, church in the morning. So. Right. That's true. Y'all want to say anything before we peace out? Um... Nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. It is the next day, and good morning, even though this morning has been anything but. Whoever came up with the song Easy Like Sunday Morning was not getting kids ready for church single-handedly. And honestly, we're in the right place because this car could use some spiritual cleansing because Vivian decided to spend the entire ride screaming. Landon, what was Sissy doing on the way to church? Mama. Um, I don't know. Really? Screaming. So, we're about to head in. We are royally late. And... <laughs> Grammy's house. Um, by royally late, I mean... We're late. We left like five minutes after the service started. So, you know what? Just pray for us. We're going to get these two little sweetie pies into church. So, let's go. It's 
so I had every intention of just filming the kids walking into church, but this one is demanding to be held. So on top of both my bags and her weighing like 50 pounds, I am carrying her into church. She's such a diva. Okay, y'all, it's about two hours later, and I really wish I could have filmed and vlogged a little bit more. I um, wound up filming about 1% of what actually took place, but church went really well this morning, and let me tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made, because you know why? My in-laws took my kids for the afternoon, and I just, honestly, I just need a minute. I, I'm so happy I could cry. It could not have come at a better time. I've been spread super thin and just a little time to myself is, I just, um, I'm so grateful. So stinking grateful. So yeah, fun fact about me. If I know you and trust you and you offered to take my kids, the answer is always yes. Um, so mama's gonna get some alone time. I'm super excited about that. I think I'm gonna go get some Chinese food because that's like a guilty pleasure food for me and I'm just about to get back on like eating right. <laughs> and there's a Panda Express near my church and that is my favorite kind of Chinese food. So I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe go grocery shopping by myself. I know mom life, but y'all moms know grocery shopping by yourself is literally a vacation. So Joan and Terry, if y'all watch this, I love y'all. Y'all are the most awesome people. So let's go get some food and see what the afternoon holds for us. Okay, y'all, we are back in my driveway and I have got my favorite, my favorite, like best guilty pleasure takeout ever. My husband can tell you he's so sick of Panda because of how much I love it. Mm. But I think I'm gonna go inside, chill out, eat this in peace. No one's calling mama or my name. It goes without saying, I love my kids more than life. They are so amazing, but you moms know, like a break is a wonderful thing for your sanity and mental health, if not for anything else. Cause y'all have been so patient to stick around with me this weekend on all my little endeavors. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you like vlogs like this, give this video a thumbs up. If you're watching this and you've stuck through this whole video and haven't subscribed yet, subscribe it's free doesn't hurt you only helps me and you just click that button and then you're good girl thank y'all so much for journeying along with me this weekend i hope you enjoyed little clips into my life and i'll see you in the next one bye y'all